Hello, today you're gonna see how we can automatize the process of creating meta tag description directly on your Google Sheets using ChatGPT. Hello everyone and welcome back to the e-commerce lessons channel. Um, today I'm gonna show you some tricks about how to use ChatGPT with a Google Spreadsheet. This can be used in multiple scenarios. In any case that you handle uh, spreadsheets and you need to do multiple um, operations there. Today I'm gonna show you specifically a case for um, catalog management in the e-commerce industry, but you can apply this knowledge in any specific occasion you want, okay? So let's go ahead and see how it works. Recently, actually, uh, Talarmi has launched the first uh, Google extension, like Google Sheet extension with uh, GPT or OpenAI uh, integrated with. And for me, this is one of the easiest options that you can find in the market to use and, and take benefit from this uh, amazing solution in the market. So it's super easy to use. And today I'm going to show you a use case specific for the commerce industry, how to create uh, meta tag descriptions for um, catalogs. But you can use that knowledge in any specific industry or case scenario that you want. Okay. So the step by step is the following. Um, you go, the first step is go to Google Workspace Marketplace, or you can just Google that specifically and install. And to install that here, you just need to log in with your uh, Google, like your account. Um, the next step, once you have that, you're going to have a new add on in your Google Sheets. I have here currently like this Google Sheet. Um, it's an example that could, you could be take out of the, any ERP system or e-commerce platform where you have a very basic like product name, material, uh, category. So all the information that you normally need uh, for your products. And what we don't have specifically is a meta tag description. And that's what I'm gonna create here. So in order to do that, um, I would just reload that. So we, we have the extension visible. Um, we're gonna have under the extension after the um, after we install the GPT for Sheets, and here the first step to make it work in your Google Sheet is to set an API key. So I already had one here, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. So if you don't have yet any account on AP, OpenAI, you can create this for free, and here it gives you uh, the link to do that. And here, as I told you, I already have some, but I'm gonna create a new one here. Don't try to copy that, I'm gonna delete after the video, but just to show you how you can do that easily. So I just copy the information and um, with that, I can be, I can start using the API. So OpenAI gives you a credit of around $18 that gives you room to like test a lot of things. So don't worry, you don't need to pay uh, uh, to use that in the beginning, but if you want to really escalate and use that and more in your operation, I advise you to uh, start having like a plan account, a uh, paid account with OpenAI. So, they don't store this data as, as they say in the, in the pop-up, but now I have here this integration already in place. And the interesting part is just to use that is super easy. I just need actually to um, use the common GPT. And with this here, I can already give a prompt. So the information that I'm gonna send to OpenAI um, and ask them what uh, an answer re regarding that. The value, so the value, the magic here is that you can give your prompt as a baseline for anything and then the value changes according to the cell. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna give like a prompt specifically and then we're just gonna change the input for each single product uh, to ask um, OpenAI to give us uh, an idea or like a meta tag description. Then we have the temperature. That's basically the creativity of that you want to give for the OpenAI to um, invent or create this title. So it's from zero to one, one being super creative and zero be very neutral, like let's say not creative at all. The max tokens is actually the limitation you give um, to OpenAI when it comes to any sort of prompt. This is how they charge you. So just to give you an idea, uh, they said that more or less one token is equal for um, characters and uh, you pay around two cents for a thousand, um, thousand tokens as of now. So this might change in the futures. And at the end, we're going to give the model um, that we want to use from the API. So before we do that, what I want to show you here is that right now I don't have a specific um, input to give. So I want to combine more information to give also more information for uh, OpenAI to create this meta tag description. So I want to combine basically the name with the material that is used and the category. So in order to do that, I can use just a join comment and I create here a new um, column for that. I call that's called summary. 
So we use the join um, command here from Google Sheet, just putting a delimiter for as a space. So I want to combine the name of the product. I want to combine the category, co concatenating also um, the material. So here we just write like made um, of, then putting the material that's written. And just at the end, I just add the material word. So since the material will be like fixed uh, cell, I don't want, I just want to give this limitation. And here we are basically good to go. And already me gave me like a suggestion for all of them. So I just save that because I will need this for, for my comment. All right, so I got, I got a summary of the product. So what is the prompt, the baseline that I'm gonna send to, um, to OpenAI here? We write like something like write, uh, um, detail, detail meta description of product, of the product. And then after that, we will give, of course, a summary. So in order to fix this, I'm going to just call here now GPT, please GPT or OpenAI. Write me a detail meta description of the product. This I will save as like a fixed cell and now i want to write a meta description of this summary and here don't forget so we give we need to now give now the temperature i normally use 0 0.7 it's uh, up to you what you want to give us time of creativity i would just set like thousand as a max token so two cents for each input and the model we're going to use is the new model that's um, um text da vinci 003 that's the new one that's the same use for chat GPT. And now you just give this prompt now here and wait for uh, the reply from OpenAI. Let's see what they provide to us here. Okay, so I got here one step out in style with Adidas Woman's Micro. This is stylish and covered t shirt. For me, it looks pretty uh, solid. And I want to do that for all products. So, in order to do that, I just need to go ahead and ask them to give me for all of the products. Normally when you give a lot of calls, of course it tends to be a bit overloaded the system. So you might get error in some of them, but in general, well, it provides you everything. And this can save you a lot of time when it comes to new products every single week. Um, as I, I'm showing you, it's super easy to use it. Uh, you can use that specific common or like um, function here for any scenario you want. It's just gonna help you to automatize all the your flows and, and help be more, more productive in any sort of operation. I hope you like it and you can use that. And if you have any other ideas or um, needs that you have in your operation, let me know and I will be happy to try something, some solution with uh, OpenAI to see how we can get there. All right, take care. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.